the Galactic Civil War has begun. Rebel Alliance forces have launched their first attack on the Galactic Empire and now desperately searches for the Empire's ultimate weapon, the Death Star. However, the battles between the Empire and the Alliance are not the only conflict playing out across the galaxy. Tyra Zahn, Prime Lord and former associate of Jabba the Hutt, works to free himself from the spice mines of Kessel and plots his revenge on an unknowing galaxy. Looks like rebel ships incoming. Identify yourselves. Send your transponder codes now. Engage the rebels. We need to buy more time. Cannons armed. We're online, awaiting orders. Star Wars Empire War Forces of Corruption is an expansion pack that adds the organized crime syndicate the Zong Consortium as a third playable faction with a full-fledged campaign that is set in the background of the original trilogy. The campaign begins just prior to the Battle of Yavin and shows Tiber Zong's imprisonment for stealing a Sith artifact from Jabba. Zon corrupts planets with his defilers in order to obtain information on the other two factions, sabotage and to gain credits. In the campaign, Tiber tries to unlock the secrets of the Sith holocron, which can be used to find an ancient Carbonite Sith army. I will unlock the secrets of the artifact. This is a mistake, Tiber. She will betray you as soon as she gets what she wants. This is a chance we have to take. She can access the artifact and uncover its secrets. Once my plans are set in motion, you can have the pleasure of killing her. Galactic Conquest gameplay remains very similar to the original Star Wars Empire at War with a few major changes. The Zon Consortium's new corruption element is a new feature which provides bonuses to the competing factions in addition to the benefits provided to the Zon Consortium. The original Death Star no longer appears, being replaced by the second one after being destroyed in the original game. Alderaan is now an asteroid field, and Red Squadron has been reformed into Rogue Squadron. I will finish you later. Skirmish has been changed slightly, while still keeping true to the original game. A major difference is the addition of three faction battles, including the ability to fight the same faction. Multiplayer has advanced since the original game, bringing new, bigger maps and new teams. 